Hello everyone. Today we learn about the design of a check dam. Check dam is the important structure for water storage and for preventing desertification. It is the important hydraulic structure and also important in the irrigation department. How to design For that, we have to first consider which parameters we have required under consideration. For that, we have to first narrow gauge should be existing, water table conditions should be sufficient, water uh, condition prevailing like as shown in figure, sufficient water should be stored, weather condition, smooth surface, site is easily approachable or not that we have to consider foundation properly available like rocky foundation as shown in figure also material availability is important factor and cost is the important factor for designing of the check dam first step is determine the physiographic parameters for that I have to uh, divide main stream length into nine parts at one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometer, four kilometer, and so on. And at each kilometer, we have to take levels, means RL of a stream bed levels, like at uh, starting point 92, then 92.3, 92.6, and so on. Length of a section is 1 kilometer. Why? Because I have divided into 9 equals 1 kilometer parts. Now, level above datum is what? It is level above the starting point. Means 92.3 minus 92 is 0.3. 92.6 minus 92 is 0.6. 92.9 minus 92 is 0.9 and so on now next column is di minus di minus 1 plus di in that we have shown uh, i have shown the uh, arrow like 0 0.6 plus 0 0.9 is 1.5 0 0.9 plus 1.2 is 2.1 and so on now last column is multiplication with length of a section which will remain as second last column and summation of that I have get 24.4 what is S equivalent is equal to that summation divided by length of a mean stream and its square so that I have get value 0.263 it will depend uh, different region as, as different region condition will Now, in step 2, I have to derive of uh, SUG parameters. SUG means synthetic unit hydrograph, means discharge versus time. As shown in a figure, there are certain parameters like QP, small QP, capital QP, W75, W50, TP, TB, and such on. And equation of it is fixed. As we have first calculate TP is equal to 0.433 L divided by under root S raised to 0.74 where L is the length of a mainstream bed length of a mainstream divided by S equivalent so that we, uh, value get 3.35 where TP is the time to peak and such QP W50 W75 WR50 also can get calculated. Other equation also given where TB is the base time and QP is the discharge.
so that summation of a discharge we get calculate by 2.78 multiplied by a by tr is equal to 194.60 meter cube per second which is unit of a discharge here time base is equal to 15.55 which is the total hours of a base time now from above parameters calculated important part is how to determine graph for that x ordinate and y ordinate we have to determine first x ordinate means at 0 hours discharge is also 0 next 2.3 hours why we selected 2.3 because is equal to 3.85 means middle value means at uh, uh, tm is equal to 3.85 minus wr 50 same as other x ordinate can be calculated as shown in a slide also y ordinate means discharge in meter cube per second means q max can be calculated as shown in a slide here 37.8 is the maximum discharge and other can be plotted as a point and which help to determine SVG graphs. So that here we complete the second step. Now in other steps uh, given in a next uh, um, video thank you